Dr. Gilbert. Yes, sir. I understand we're going to revisit the toxicity inside of your house, which you've already pretty much shocked us a little bit with, <laughs> talking about our bedroom. Now, what I'd like you to talk about is a couple things. One is wallboards. Mm -hmm. I'd like you to talk about the flooring. Mm -hmm. I'd like you to talk about insulation. And then I'd also like to talk, have you talk about uh, the products that we wash our clothes in. Okay. Um, and what impact those may have on the individual. On the individual. And well, the family. And the family. And it's not just in our homes, Lyle. Remember that it also carries over into our offices okay. because it's, it's the <clears throat> environments where you spend most of the time. So that's, in most cases, that's our office and our home. Uh, if somebody's commuting six hours a day, three hours to and from, which I have some patients that do, then you have to also include the car in that, the automobile that you're actually in. So when you're talking about the home, number one, in my opinion, we did a huge disservice to everyone by making it popular to start putting carpeting over our beautiful wood floors. Remember, in the, I mean, I was raised in the, in the 40s and 50s and 60s with hardwood floors. Mm -hmm. And then everybody started putting this big, long shag carpet. And then we went to all types of carpeting from then, but we were covering these beautiful wood floors. Now the trend is to go back to hardwood floors. Sometimes they're pre-finished, but that's okay, and I'll explain why in a moment. But the main thing is that you've got not only my old friend Dusty that we talked about earlier, that's the dust mite, uh, and you'll notice how cute his fangs are, and there's millions of them in our pillows, but you also have that in the carpeting. Can you imagine how many of these little critters are in a piece of carpeting? Because I don't care how good your vacuum cleaner is, and I only use a HEPA filter vacuum cleaner in my home and my office. It doesn't matter. You're still going to be harboring all the bacteria, all the dust mites, giving them the perfect environment to thrive and to, and to continue to grow. Okay? Then you have to clean it. So you've got cleaning chemicals that you're having to use where you can literally use a microfiber cloth to clean hardwood floors, which is what we do. Mm -hmm. We have a long-handled dust mop that is a microfiber cloth. We dampen it, wring it out where it's almost dry, and just dust the hardwood floors. You have nothing to use as far as chemicals. So then you have plug-in air fresheners in your offices and homes. Most of them are synthetic, well, all of them that I know of are synthetic fragrances and petrochemical based. And you're smelling it all the time. You are now attacking the immune system. It's adding to that toxic load that we've talked about so much, that our vessel gets overfilled and the body can no longer neutralize it. Then you talk about cleaning the furniture. I use two things to clean furniture, the microfiber cloths, and I have all antiques, so I'm very protective of my furniture. So I either wring it out, and we dust with that just to get the dust out, but when we really need to rehydrate the wood, especially in the winter, I use pure mineral oil. You let it absorb, oh, really? you put it on a soft cloth, you let it absorb on the piece of furniture, and if there's any residue, you come back with the microfiber cloth and just gently rub it, and it protects the wood, it gives it a beautiful sheen, and it's not sticky. So here you have natural mineral oil, which is 89 cents a bottle, and it's not toxic to be breathing. Then you go into things like you're using all of the hairsprays and the hair products and the, the aerosols. Think about it, the soaps, antibacterial soaps. That's the worst thing we can use because an antibacterial soap we're using many, many times a day. And what are you doing? You're literally attacking the body to the point where you're giving it something that is building as a residue so that you're not going to be able to fight infection later on. An antibacterial soap is like giving you an antibiotic every day in low doses. So, so what you're telling us <clears throat> is that all of these things we're talking about can be mm -hmm. as deleterious to your health as the prescription drugs that Absolutely. we're taking that are completely robbing Absolutely. us of our supplements. And, and, and frankly, if a person is very, very um, discreet about the amount of prescription drugs that they take or that, that they, you know, that the ones that are obviously... Uh, that don't have other options, okay? Let's say your blood pressure is really high and you have to take some blood pressure medication for a while. Hopefully just until you can change your diet and you get some help from a nature path so that you can do something natural. But let's say you had to take that. That is no way gonna do you the damage that all of these environmental, environmental pollutants do in toxic indoor air door quality. So indoor air quality is anywhere you are. When I rent a car, I'm very specific that the car cannot have any air fresheners in it. So many times they have to put a little ozonator in the car. Most of the places are not using them anymore, believe it or not. But for a while, there was an air freshener sprayed in every car when it was yeah. detailed. So those are all things that we have to be very, very cognizant of because they're chemicals. They're not a man-made pro I mean, they're not a, a nature-made product. They're a man-made product, and the body isn't designed to be able to deal with chemicals. One final question in this mm -hmm. segment. 
this is all a big secret, right? Oh, absolutely. I mean, nobody, tells, tell nobody tells us about it, right? Well, and this is why my main focus is education, whether it be education through a webinar to my clients when I interview them on the phone or in person at the clinic. Doesn't matter, education is where it is. But education without application is worse than no education at all. So if I'm a tiny baby, mm -hmm. if I'm a elderly adult, if I'm someone with a proven condition of some sort that's jeopardizing my health, yeah, an immune what disorder. I'm doing is I'm moving into a gas chamber yes. to take care of all that. Yep. Or You're living, living in, in a, a toxic chamber. soup, exactly. Well, thank you for that wonderful upbeat information. I think, you know, there's just no way that we can not take some things in our own hands, and I'd like to talk to you about that, Absolutely. too. And we need to take responsibility. We can't, doctors are not magicians. Thank you. You're welcome.